Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continue. We are starting the new chapter that is mechanics of solids and fluids. Okay, both the units we are together. We are discussing now. First question: A rigid body is a body with a perfectly unchanging shape under the influence of an external force. What do you mean by the center of mass of a rigid body? Center of mass means all the masses are said to be concentrated at a single point that is called a center of mass. A rigid beam of length L, breadth B and depth D is supported near its ends as shown in figure. A load W is suspended at its center of mass. write an expression for the amount of sagging okay so that one here in the question it is see here this is suspended like this and here also suspended like this but it is sagging like this okay we need to find out the amount of sagging the so w is acting downwards here so the sagging we need to delta or d we can write that one how we can find out we know it is depending on the young's modulus young's modulus means longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain right so divided by longitudinal strain stress how we can find out stress is equal to force by area force is the weight acting on it divided by area length into breadth divided by change in length that is d delta divided by original length original length means what is the original length of now it is sagging is happening right so what is the original length w divided by l and b are length and breadth okay l b divided by original depth is given as d so delta divided by d that is equal to young's modulus here we need to find out delta for that first we will arrange this w by l b into take the reciprocal and multiply so y will be equal to so delta we need to find out delta is equal to wd divided by lb into y this is how we will be finding out the sagging so after the depth the actual depth was d and now it is sagging by sagging it became delta so how we can find out wd divided by lb into y A steel beam of length 5 meter is kept at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. On a hot day, the temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius. What is the charge in its length due to thermal expansion? What is the change in its length? Not charge. It is a printing mistake. Change in its length due to thermal expansion. Coefficient of linear expansion of steel also given. So we know that delta L is proportional to L and it is proportional to delta T. Therefore, delta L will be equal to alpha L delta T. So here, what we need to find out what is the change in length. So alpha is given over here. The coefficient of linear expansion 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5, and original length is given as 5 meter. Change in temperature is 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, so it is 20. So we have, while solving, you can find out the change in length. Next is the pressure of the atmosphere at any point is the weight of air column of a unit cross-sectional area. Its unit is bar. Identify the given diagram and write its use. So here it's given like this. so how what is the what is this uh, shows it is showing a mercury barometer it's showing a mercury barometer okay to measure the atmospheric pressure state pascal's law for transmission of fluid pressure 
pressure will be equally distributed in all the directions explain the principles of working of a hydraulic lift hydraulic lift is working with the help of this pascal's law that is here this is a small area and for small forces acting for in a small area and this is area is more how much force will be acting over here f by a will be equal to capital f divided by a so f is equal to f into capital a divided by small a since a is small f will be large so this is hydraulic lift this is based on pascal's law Next is the above arrangement is placed in an elevator which is accelerating upwards. What happens to the possible height of the liquid column in the tube? So G, what will happen to G? G will exist. It is moving upwards. While it is moving upwards, what will be? What will happen to the total weight? If it is acting, if it is moving through the elevator upwards, also no change will be happening in the pressure. Pressure is the difference in pressure with the air column, right? What will be the difference in pressure only we are getting over there as a, it depends on the uh, difference, difference in air pressure, okay? So, it is not depending on, it is, uh, if it is moving in an elevator also, pressure difference won't be showing over there, no change in pressure. The antiseps are used for cuts and wounds in human flesh have low surface tension due to low surface due to they spread over the wounds easily. In the following figure angle of contact theta is see here angle of contact theta is it is a obtuse angle isn't it it has force of for this bubble force of uh, this cohesion is more cohesive force is more for this particle okay then surface tension causes capillarity define capillarity and arrive at the expression for capillary rise okay capillarity means against gravity the ability of the fluid to move uh, um, against gravity through a small uh, the pipe that is called a capillarity in a capillary tube water rises to a height if the capillary tube is inclined at an angle 60 degree with the length of water column in the tube so in a capillary tube the water rises to a height if the capillary tube is inclined at an angle 60 degree with the length of water column in the tube so length of this is the water this is water which we are keeping and this is the capillary tube with the length of water so this is the height right so this length of water column with respect to that it is making an angle 60 degree okay so we need to find out this height length of water column we should find out here h this is L, length of the tube. So, H will be equal to L cos theta. So, L will be, so what we need to find out here, here H is equal to L by, L is equal to H by cos theta, H by cos 60. That will be the length of the tube. Clear? Next is rubber band and can be pulled to several times to its original length. Draw the stress strain graph of a uh, rubber band. That is rubber band is an elastomer, right? So stress, this is stress and here it is strain. For an elastomer, how the graph will be? It will be like this, iota and for elast this rubber band all and all, we will be drawing, getting a stress strain graph like this. Okay, clear? Next is rope of cranes is made of a number of thin wires braided together by for the radius of the rope, while we are calculating the radius of the rope, we will get it as nearly equal to 1 centimeter. If I am taking a rod, having 1 centimeter, it will be almost like a rod instead of getting a string. So, we will be taking small, small strings having very, uh, a very low diameter and will be making it as a single wire having length or having a radius of 1 centimeter. So, it will be useful. Clear? Next is, 
write the ideal gas equation pv equals nrt write any four postulates of kinetic theory of gases so all, already we did all those things when a force is applied to a string it gets extended to by an amount delta x name the law relating to stress and strain the stress is directly proportional to strain okay so stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit that is called the hooke's law this is the law which is uh, depending on the stress and strain stress is directly proportional to strain calculate the stress developed in a metal when it is strained by 30 percentage given young's modulus of the material is 200 200 gigapascal okay so stress we need to find out stress is equal to st uh, stress by strain equals young's modulus here we need to find out stress means Young's modulus into strain. Young's modulus is given, strain also given. 200 strain is 30 percentage, so 30 divided by 100. So in gigapascal, how we can convert to Pascal? 10 to the power 9. Okay, so gigapascal means 200 into 10 to the power 9. We can do 30 divided by 100. Okay, Young's modulus into stress is equal to y into strain. Young's modulus is given 200 into 10 to the power 9. Pascal strain is given as 30 by 100. Clear? Next is which is more elastic, steel or rubber? Why? Steel is more elastic. Why? Because it has more deformation. Deformation is more. Its Young's modulus is more. So it can, it will be getting deformated more. So steel is more elastic than rubber. Next is law of conservation of energy is a universal law for all states of matter. Which theorem gives the law of conservation of energy for a flowing liquid? Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's theorem gives a, uh, the, for a, what is the conservation of energy in the case of Bernoulli's theorem we can explain. And state and prove the, uh, prove the theorem. Statement is, P. see this one, P plus rho GH plus uh, half rho V square equals constant. The sum of pressure and potential energy per unit volume and kinetic energy per unit volume remains a constant for a incompressible fluid okay for an incompressible and streamlined fluid we should consider it as a streamline only for an incompressible streamlined fluid sum of the pressure and potential energy per unit volume and kinetic energy per unit volume remains a constant this is Bernoulli's principle then a liquid surface behaves like a stretched elastic membrane name the property for the above behavior okay it is uh, the liquid surface is, uh, is acting like a stretched membrane what is that it is surface tension it is surface tension define the angle of contact uh, with its uh, what is its value of for pure water with glass so angle of contact means that it is the angle between the surface of contact and the liquid okay in which the angle should be considered inside the liquid itself that is called the angle of contact the angle between the surface in contact and the tangent to which the uh, we are drawing the uh, the tangent to the liquid surface will be making will be giving you angle of contact it is the angle between the angle of surface the angle between the surface of contact and the tangent of the liquid surface derive an expression for the rise of liquid in a capillary tube of radius r having density rho and surface tension s yes. so that also derivation part only next is venturi meter is bernoulli's theorem hydraulic lift is pascal's law viscous force exists when there is a relative motion between the layers of fluid uh, state true or false viscosity of gas decreases with increase in temperature it's false viscosity of gases increases with increase in temperature 
obtain an expression so viscosity is increasing with increase in temperature that is the correct way here it is given as decreases with the increase in temperature that is false viscosity increases with increase in temperature obtain an expression for terminal velocity of an object that is a direct question speed time graph of a falling sky driver is shown below during the fall he opens the parachute which part of the graph shows the sky diver uh, falling with terminal velocity see here it's showing like this here a b c d here in which part it will be terminal velocity means after a particular point it will be coming with a constant velocity right so what which part is showing it as constant velocity so see see not like this here it is so which part will be which is moving with the almost constant velocity c to d this portion will be showing the almost constant velocity so here this is the uh, topic that is c d is the portion which we are getting a constant velocity so here all this uh, this one you know main, uh, mainly in fluid parts many derivations are there all the derivations are very important only here itself we saw many times that capillary uh, rise and bernoulli's equation that too is also so uh, terminal velocity terminal velocity equation of continuity so all those are important please try to do uh, try to solve all those things and i am binding you for today and next day we will be continuing the same chapter if it is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye